today will be the first lecture on discipline propedeutic of pediatric dentistry. And we will discuss the issues of anatomic and function of histological and X-ray features of the maxillofacial facial system in children at different age periods. In this lecture, I'll tell you about antenatal stage of development of temporary and permanent teeth, postnatal stage of development of temporary and permanent teeth, topographic area of temporary and permanent teeth in the child jaws, X-ray or rangeologic features of the structure of the maxillofacial apparatus in children, dental instruments for using in pediatric dentistry and anatomical and functional aspects of restoration of temporary teeth. Uh, beside these questions, uh, I'll talk to you about the stage uh, of development uh, their pediatric dentistry and uh, historical features of formation of pediatric dental health and dental aid. Uh, we will uh, We'll begin uh, from the antenatal stages of teeth development. Please put your attention on the screen. Uh, you uh, see the table uh, which described a different stage of embryonic development. Uh, initi uh, initiation stage six to seven week. You can see this first stage in the teeth development. Uh, and the main process involved its uh, induction and the downlining. The model gives rise uh, to oral epithelium and then to dental lamina, adjustments to deeper uh, ecto uh, which is in, uh, in, uh, Influenced by uh, neural uh, crest cells, both these two types are separated by a basement membrane. Uh, but stage eight week uh, main process involves it's a pro uh, proliferation, growth of dental lamina into bud shape uh, that. Uh, Penetrates growing uh, and mesenchyme. And the next is the cup uh, stage nine to ten week uh, during embryonic development. Main process involved pro proliferation, uh, differentiation, and morphogenesis. Uh, description of this process is the, includes um, uh, formation of tooth jaw as enamel region form into cup shape that uh, surround inside mass of dental papilla uh, with an outside mass of dental sac both from uh, both from the end of Bettenheim. Uh, the next is the bell stage 11th to 12th week. Uh, proliferation, uh, proliferation, differentiation, and morphogenesis. A description of these processes includes the main uh, is the differentiation of an enamel origin into bell shape uh, with four cell types and dental papilla into two cell types. A position stage varies per two uh, Characteristics of this uh, process, it is induction and proliferation. Um, during this process, um, dental tissue types secreted uh, in suck, uh, successful lines as matrix. Uh, maturation stage, various patterns. Uh, main processes involved in the maturation. Uh, description of these processes is dental tissue types fully mineral mineralized to major form. Uh, what about, I can tell you um, about the development relatively the general information about this process. 
dental uh, professionals uh, must have a clear understanding of the stages of odontogenesis or tooth development and their um, physiological basis. Developmental disturbance can occur within each stage of odontogenesis, affecting the physiological processes talking in place. These developmental disturbance can have ramification that may affect the clinical treatment of the patient. Development of the dentition. The term dentition is used to describe the natural teeth in the jaws. Uh, there are two dentitions, primary dentition and permanent dentition. A child's primary dentition develops during the prenatal period and consists of the 20 teeth which wrapped an <clears throat> a later uh, sheet of uh, or exfoliated. At the primary teeth uh, uh, sheet, the jaw uh, and the jaws grow and mature. The permanent dentition, consisting of uh, as many as uh, 32 teeth uh, or 28 teeth, um, it is the, the number in the functional permanent dentition, gradually erupts and replaces at the primary dentition. An overlaying period between the primary and permanent dentition during the breeding years is referred to as uh, the mixed dentition period uh, when an individual has thumb teeth from both dentitions. Uh, I'll show you what that means. On the mixed dentition, please put your attention on the screen. On the slide, uh, you can see the image, which includes the uh, permanent dentition and the mixed dentition with primary uh, incisors, canines, and molars, and uh, two uh, permanent molars. It is the first stage of mixed dentition. The next um, the final um, uh, the final discussion then is on the eruption of the permanent dentition. Uh, the process of development for both dentition is similar. only the associated time frame uh, for each is different. The overall general dental uh, anatomy is associated with both these dentition. Uh, odontogenesis uh, takes place in stage which uh, occur in a stepwise fashion for both dentitions. Odontogenesis is a continuous process until completed and there is no clear cut uh, beginning or end point between the stages. However, this stage uh, there is not, uh, they are used to help for focus uh, on the different events uh, in odontogenesis and are based on the appearance of the development structures. After initiation of odontogenesis, identifiable stage in tooth development include the bud stage, the cup stage, and the bell stage. Odontogenesis then progresses uh, to the stage of a position with the formation of the hard dental tissue types, uh, such as enamel, dentine, and cementum, and finally to the stage of maturation for these structures. In the past, uh, the study of odontogenesis included a uh, discussion of developmental lobes uh, that were uh, thought to be growing during tooth development. This part's presence of associated uh, depression. Whether they <laughs> whether there may be any justification for including them in a, a discussion of tooth formation remains uh, controversial development lobes may simply be evidence to the tooth form only but information concerning lobes are included in this tag um, of um, completeness 
Not all the teeth in each dentition begin to develop at the same time across each arch of the jaw. The, uh, the initial teeth for both dentitions uh, development in the anterior mandibular region are uh, forward laid uh, by the anterior maxillary region and then development uh, progresses posteriorly in the both jaws. This posterior progression of odontogenesis allows time uh, for the jaw to grow to accommodate the increased number of primary teeth, the larger primary molars, and then finally the overall larger permanent teeth. The primary dentition develops uh, during both the embryonic period uh, and fetal period of prenatal or antenatal development. Most of the permanent dentition is formed during the fetal period. Uh, tooth development continues for or years after birth. However, especially considering the formation of the permanent second and third molars. Uh, um, for more, for molars. Uh, those uh, teeth have the longest developmental period of any set of organs in the body. Uh, what uh, we know about initiation stage? Odontogenesis of the primary dentition begins between the sixth and seventh week of prenatal development uh, during the embryonic period. Uh, this uh, first stage of tooth development, known as initiation stage, uh, involves um, uh, involves a physiological process of induction, uh, which is an active interaction between the embryological tissue types. Studies show uh, that men and human tissue must influence the ectodermal tissue in, a, in order to initiate odontogenesis, but the exact mechanisms are known at this time. There are four stages in the development of the tooth jaw. The stages include, uh, I told you about the stages, but stage cup, early bell, and la uh, late bell stage. Uh, but, uh, uh, but stage that they start uh, in the eighth week of uh, intro during life uh, with the emergence of enamel organs. The enamel organs are swelling uh, formed by dental lamina under the influence of methanchymal cells from uh, these enamel organs develop uh, each tooth. So you can see uh, the algorithm of uh, tooth development uh, begins from the um, crowns and and uh, by um, root formation. Uh, relatively, uh, their uh, in Caesar and uh, relative to the molar. Uh, <clears throat> cap stage. This stage is marked by the growth and expansion of the enamel organ, which result in the formation of uh, concavity in its inner aspect. The growth continues and uh, at about uh, 20 weeks of intro uh, life, um, I mean during the late cap stage, inner enamel epithelium forms from the inner uh, cuboidal cells uh, of the enamel organ. The inner enamel epithelium cells are columnar in shape, unlike enamel organ cells, which are mm, cuboidal. Uh, this layer uh, defines the shape of the crown and later differentiates into a meloblast responsible for the formation of enamel um, or uh, responsible um, for the formation of enamel uh, protein matrix. The cells from the outer uh, layer of the enamel organ form the outer enamel epithelium and remain a cuboidal. Uh, and remain cuboidal. They maintain and maintain the enamel organ shape. Uh, their uh, condensed um, methanchymal cells beneath the inner enamel epithelial form, the dental papilla, which later gives form spout. 
The enamel organ has a surrounding fibrous capsule known as the dental uh, follicle, which later form the periodontal uh, uh, ligament. At uh, 14 weeks of intrauterine life, apart from the inner and outer enamel epithelium, two other clays, namely stratum, intermedium and stellate reticulum is formed. This uh, stratum intermedium lies over the inner enamel epithelium and consists of two or three lines of cells. Its function includes transportation of the nutrition to and from the enamel forming cells, the, uh, enema, the uh, ameloblast. The stellate reticulum layer lies between the stratum intermedium and the auto enamel epithelium. The cells in, the, in this layer are star shaped, uh, have the name stellate. Uh, their function is to protect the underlying dental tissues and maintain, maintain the shape of the tooth. Uh, for the growth of the inner and the outer enamel epithelium cells form a theoretical loop uh, where the two entities meet uh, and eventually form Hertwig root uh, sheath uh, which uh, determine the shape of the root. Uh, bell stage. Uh, at this stage, the dental lamina de disintegrates in the uh, and uh, is ready for the formation of dental heart tissue. Mm -hmm. Before uh, their uh, dental formation, uh, uh, the next, uh, the, the first uh, tissue which uh, exists um, in the intrauterine uh, intro ovary. Embryonic period, which is dentine, and uh, uh, that uh, process named dentine uh, genesis. Uh, cells form the inner enamel epithelium into the cells of the uh, periphery of uh, the dental papilla to form dentine, forming columnar cells, uh, it means odontoblasts. Uh, initial, initially, uh, they are on the glass, secret and unmineralized dentin matrix. Uh, uh, the dentine uh, uh, matrix that forms before the initiation of mineralization uh, is known as uh, predentine. When the predentine becomes approximately uh, 5 uh, micrometer thick. Uh, mineralization begins within the matrix at random points uh, in the form of uh, spherical zones of uh, hydroxyapatite called uh, uh, calcospheres. Uh, cal uh, are formed within the dentine matrix and eventually uh, these calcospherites fuse to form mineralized dentine. The first mineralized layer of dentine is termed mental dentine, and the remaining bulk is termed as uh, uh, circumpalpal dentine. At the position, continue the uh, odontoblast cells uh, retreat uh, in the direction of dental papilla, forming an S shaped uh, curve. This formation uh, leaves uh, an elongated process is normally the odontoblast uh, processes, which is later surrounded by the dentinal tubules. Uh, I want to remember you that the main uh, or, or the type of uh, proteins in the connective tissue, uh, dentine it's a connective tissue, uh, like the bones. Uh, it is uh, collagen type uh, 1, 3, and 5. After uh, initiation of dentine mineralization, uh, exists uh, uh, the next process, uh, an amelogenesis or um, uh, amelogenesis um, or enamel formation. Uh, 
Enable formation starts immediately, starts immediately after the first layer of tympanum is laid down by the odontoblasts. The cells uh, from the inner enamel epithelium uh, differentiate into ameloblast. Uh, there are colon cells uh, attached uh, attach, uh, to the stratum intermedium via uh, either base. A, a pyramidal extension is present at the secretory uh, end of an ameloblast known as Tom's process, um, though which the enamel matrix is secreted in the uh, amelodentine junction. Once the enamel matrix is laid down, immediately the mineralization process begins by the creation of calcium and phosphate ions into uh, the enamel matrix, forming hydroxyapatite uh, crystallites. As more matrices are secreted and mineralized, the uh, ameloblast cells move away from the uh, amelodentinal uh, junction, forming a pattern of uh, crystallites contained with, uh, within enamel prisms. These prisms are also known as enamel roots, as they run from the amelodentinal junction uh, to the enamel uh, surface. And the enamel um, matrix, the crystallites are within the enamel increase in size and the organic content, content reduces. Uh, when the enamel formation completes, the uh, ameloblast cell loses the cytomes process, uh, flattens and becomes the reduced enamel epithelium. This layer protects the enamel during eruption and eventually becomes the junctional epithelium. Uh, the next stage of uh, the T's formation it is root formation. The root formation begins um, before eruption and um, exists uh, after eruption uh, from uh, three. Uh, to uh, six years, if we uh, tell about permanent dentition and permanent teeth, and uh, from one or three years, if um, we uh, discuss uh, their primary root formation, primary teeth root formation. Um, once uh, the crown formation uh, is completed, the crown formation is completed, root formation starts. During embryonic or um, uh, prenatal period, formed only uh, one part of the tooth, and it's a crown. Um, the hair tricks root uh, sheath formed by the uh, downward growth of the inner and outer enamel epithelium grows um, in the apical direction. Uh, enclose the dental papilla and outline the shape of the root. The dental follicle uh, forming the periodontal ligament and cementum lies external to this teeth. Uh, cementum formation or cementogenesis, um, you know, that this is a part of the roots, the uh, tooth roots. After complexion uh, of the root, fragmentation of the hertwig root sheet occurs. Uh, this process enabled the cells from the adjacent dental follicle uh, to come to into contact with the root in time. These cells further differentiate to form cement or forming cells termed as cementoblasts. These cells are single light uh, cuboidal cells on the surface of the root in time. The cement matrix is secreted by this by these cells, and later the um, process of mineralization starts by this deposition of uh, hydroxyapatite crystals. The unmineralized thin layer of cement lying on the surface is termed, uh, is termed uh, as cementoid. Uh, periodontal uh, ligament formation, cementum and periodontal ligament formation formed uh, mm, during uh, root and entire formation. Uh, 
uh, cells of the dental follicle uh, or follicle other uh, other than uh, cement blast differentiate into fibroblast that secrete uh, collagen when their formation of thematum starts uh, this collagen fibers secreted by fibroblasts within the dental follicle or in uh, orientate themselves in the mm, bundles perpendicular to the uh, surface of the wood and form their principal fibers of the periodontal ligament. On the end of these fibers become uh, embedded uh, in the development cementum, and the other end in the alveolar bone, and these are known as uh, sharp face fibers. Morphogenesis and uh, histogenesis. Experiments have uh, shown that the epithelium uh, lying in the first uh, foreign brain here arch has uh, odontogenic potential. This potential only exists uh, in very early stages of odontogenesis because after initiation, the control of tooth development passes to the mesenchyme. Uh, at the cap stage of tooth development, the principal organ either is the dental papilla. In terms of both morphogenesis and histogenesis, the result of uh, culturing dental papilla mesenchyme with epithelium from the development food bed is normal tooth development, illustrating the importance of the dental papilla. On the other hand, uh, if the enamel organs of a tooth is cultured with medicine from the development food uh, pet, tooth development does not occur. Furthermore, should an anthesis, uh, enamel organ be combined with a molar papilla, the resulting tooth uh, is um, molariform, and uh, if uh, a molar enamel organ is combined with an incisor papilla, um, the resulting tooth uh, is in scissor form, presumptive in scissor and molar uh, regions. It has been established that uh, the presumptive in these and molar region contain some differences uh, in their home box uh, gen arrays. Um, um, in the insular uh, region MS61, but not BARX1, is expressed. In the rural region BARX1, but not uh, MS61, is expressed. The odontogenic homebox code can be considered in the light of a field model hypothesis, uh, where each two joints start the same uh, but different uh, concentration of morphogens. Um, or growth factors in the local environment are responsible for producing different tooth types. In contrast to the field uh, model uh, hypothesis, a, a clonal model hypothesis has been uh, forwarded the explained tooth form. Accordingly, the tooth type is uh, pre specified and uh, is not dependent on the environment within the jaws. Consequently, if a molar tooth joint is uh, cultured in the site well away from the jaws, um, the complete theories of molars can form by budding or uh, form the single uh, producer. Uh, bioactive uh, signaling molecules uh, during the tooth development messages pass between the epithelium and mesenchyme to produce changes of increasing uh, complexity uh, or um, uh, differentiation within the cell slides. Uh, it has been clearly shown that bioactive uh, signaling uh, molecules uh, in uh, the form of small proteins pass between the epithelium and mannheim and usually have important interaction uh, with the receptors on the cell's membrane. Experimental evidence suggests that uh, induction is due to the pr presence of initial extracellular matrix, a thin layer um, situated between the epithelium and mesenchyme and comprising the basal lamina and adjacent region. And uh, 
the roots development would development proceeds after the ground has formed and both interaction between the dental follicle, the dental papilla, and the structures der derived from this uh, thermical loop region of the enamel organs called the epithelial root uh, uh, sheath uh, get, uh, or gateway. As a late bell stage of tooth development, when uh, amelogenesis and dentinogenesis uh, are well um, advanced, the external and internal enamel epithelia and the sorical loop of the enamel organ form a double wide epithelial root um, sheath, uh, which proliferates epically to map out the shape of the future root. The primary uh, epical foramen uh, at the uh, at the growing end of the epithelial root uh, sheath may be subdivided in the number of a secondary epical foramen by the um, ingrowth of epithelial uh, shelves from the margins of the root uh, sheath, uh, which subsequently fuse near the center of the root. The number and location of these epithelial shelves correspond to the number and location uh, and location of the defini definitive uh, roots of the uh, tooth and may be under the inductive control of uh, the dental papilla. When a permanent tooth first erupt, only about two thirds of uh, uh, the length of the roots is complete. A wide open root apex is present uh, um, in this situation, uh, surrounded by a thin irregular um, knife edge of the time. It takes about three uh, more years for a root uh, complexion is secured. During root development, growth of the epithelial root um, sheath occurs to enclose the dental papilla, except for an opening and the, the base of primary epical foramen. Uh, Beneath the dental papilla, the epithelial sheath usually appears uh, and would uh, to form the root uh, diaphragm. Note that between the two epithelial wires, uh, there is not stellate reticulum or stratum intermedium. The dental follicle lies external to the root sheath and forms cemental periodontal ligament and alveolar bone. In the region of the root diaphragm, the epithelial root sheath is seen as continuous sheets of tissue sandwiched between the undifferentiated mesenchyme of dental papilla and the uh, dental follicle. Above the root diaphragm, uh, toward the development crown, the cells of the internal layer of the epithelial uh, sheath endure the peripheral cells of the dental papilla to differentiate into odontoblasts or fibroblasts because it is the main cells of the connective tissue. Following uh, the onset of uh, dentinogenesis in the root, the epithelial cells of the root, uh, of the root uh, sheath uh, lose their mm, or uh, uh, their continuity becoming separated from the surface uh, of the development root in time to form epithelial rest uh, in the periodontal ligament. The mesenchymal cells on the dental follicle adjacent uh, to the root dentine now differentiate into uh, the mentoblast and the mentogenesis commences. Uh, the tissue of the dental follicle in the development root are comprised of three uh, layers adjacent to the epithelial root uh, sheath in the inner investing layer of, of the dental follicle, which is said to be derived from the neural crest, adjacent uh, to the development of the bone in the outer layer in the dental follicle. The outer layer is separated from the inner uh, layer by an intermediate layer. Uh, the outer and intermediate layers are mesodermal inner region. Cells of the inner layer of the dental follicle differentiate into the cementoblast. Once cementogenesis has begun, cells of the remaining dental follicle become 
obliquely oriented on the root surface and become the fiber buds on the periodontal ligament. A cementogenesis is they are considered in terms of the formation of primary acellular cementum and then of secondary cellular cementum. As for the crown, the hard tissue that comprise the root uh, cementum and dentine develop under the control of epithelial uh, mediumal uh, interaction. Unlike the crown, the epithelial component involved uh, the, the root formation returns a simple morphology, rapidly um, lose uh, this uh, continuity with adjacent cells and is not evident uh, as a uh, Conspicuous slide during initial cementum formation. Uh, primary acellular cement. When the crown is fully formed, the, initial, uh, the internal and external enamel epithelia uh, proliferate downwards as a double life sheet of some downward flattened flattened epithelial cells. The epithelial root uh, sheet of head trip. And uh, maps uh, on the shape of the roots. The process of cementogenesis is initiated at the cervical margins of extend uh, epically as the root grows uh, downward. The epithelial root uh, sheet is separated by a basal lamina on both of the, its surface from the adjacent connective tissue of the dental follicle and dental papilla. The epithelial root sh uh, sheet induces the adjacent cells of the dental papilla to differentiate into uh, odontoblasts. At this odontoblast initially retreat uh, inwards. Uh, they uh, synthesize uh, uh, and the secret the organic matrix of the first uh, formed roots uh, pre time. Uh, and the odontoblasts do not leave behind and an odontoblast process in the initial few uh, microns of tissue. It's a structureless and later glass-like appearance uh, is responsible for the hyaline layer that uh, is given to this approximately 10 uh, micrometers. Lie once it uh, is uh, mineralized. The epithelial roots uh, 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 is in um, is in contact with the initial predentine life for only a short uh, distance before the continuity uh, of its cells is lost. Uh, there is provide that the epithelial root uh, sheath uh, as cells uh, secret enamel related proteins into the uh, collagenous matrix of the hyaline layer at the uh, cement dentine boundary. Uh, thus, uh, the hyaline um, layer is formed by contributions for, from both the deodontoblast and epithelial root sheep layers. The enamel-related proteins has been identified as enamelogenin, although uh, there is some uh, uh, dispute as uh, to whether in other enamel related proteins, amyloblastin is also present. Uh, the function of such enamel uh, related proteins is unclear but may concern epithelial medenchymal interaction and involving their uh, induction of uh, odontoblasts and cementoblasts and all the process. Uh, of mineralization. During the subsequent mineralization of cementum and the hyaline layer, the enamel-related enamel protein or proteins is lost. Although remands may be uh, retained in the uh, granular layer of the root uh, dentine. Mineralization of the first form dentine does not initially occur and the um, the out uh, outermost surface of the hyaline uh, layer, but a few microns within it. From this uh, initial, initial set, the mineralization spread both inwards towards the pulpal and outwards 
toward the periodontal ligament, uh, uh, centrifugally. Uh, those are the uh, outermost part of the hyaline layer undergoes uh, the light mineralization. The cost of uh, penetration of the epithelial root uh, sheath is uh, not known, but maybe due to programmed uh, cells death, apoptosis. Fibroblast-like cells of the adjacent dental uh, follicle part, though their penetration and come uh, to light close uh, to the surface of the hyaline line. These cells become cementum once associated with the formation of primary cementum, uh, but they don't form a conspicuously for, or on the forming root surface and may retreat and mingle with adjacent fibroblasts to the periodontal ligament. The uh, precise region of uh, the fibroblast-like cells is not clear. They might appear uh, to be derived from the cells uh, of the investing layer of the dental follicle. However, uh, there is also evidence suggesting, and then they may be derived uh, from the epithelial root cheese cells, and uh, as a result, of epithelial within hemal uh, transformation, uh, whatever their region, these cells are responsible for producing a fibrous fringe uh, on the surface of the dentine. During the next phase of development in the formation of a cell cementum, uh, the delight mineralization uh, front in the hyaline line gradually spreads uh, outwards. Centri Centripetally uh, until uh, this layer is fully mineralized and then continues on into the first few microns on the uh, fibrous fringe. In this uh, manner, the first few uh, microns of primary cementum are firmly attached uh, to the uh, root, uh, to the root dentine. At this stage, the collagen fibers. Uh, in the adjacent periodontal ligament are oriented to be more parallel uh, to the root surface and have not yet gained an attachment to the fibrous fringe. At these bones, the only stage of a cellular cementum formation results in the separation by the association cement by the associated cementoblast of various non collagenous proteins. Uh, for example, or for example, osteopontin, the mentum attachment protein, bone, cellular protein, uh, cytokines, and growth hormones. The uh, pre precise roles of such uh, molecular await uh, clarification, but it has been suggested uh, that they may play a role in bonding in the cementum to the water surface of the root dentine. The subsequent development of a cellular cementum involves its uh, slow increase in thickness, the establishment of continuity uh, between the principal collagen fibers of the periodontal ligaments with those of the fibrous fringe and the surface of the root dentine, continued slow mineralization on the collagen. It is only uh, with the establishment of continuity between periodontal ligament fibers and those of uh, the initial fibrous fringe that the tooth can be properly supported within the socket. Uh, or once periodontal ligament fibers become attached to the surface of the cementum layer, the cementum may be classified as a cellular Twin thick fiber cementum mm, in it increased slowly and uh, evenly in thickness. The growth uh, alive uh, at rate of about two micrometer uh, per uh, per year, and those cementum blast may not uh, form a distinctive um, and re recognizable layer of uh, cells that can be. Uh, from the uh, adjacent cells of the periodontal ligament, some cells lie between the perpendicularly oriented periodontal fiber bundles may become more cuboidal and contain small amounts of 
for uh, the intracellular organelles associated with the uh, protein synthesis and secretion. That secretion is polarized uh, at the surface of the cells adjacent to thymentum surface and together with the slow rate of formation ensure that the cells are not uh, and and don't by, by their uh, own secretion. A mineralization of uh, semen to matrix does not appear to be controlled by its cells, and initiation of mineralization probably occurs from the dentine. <clears throat> Indeed, when mineralization of initial root dentine is uh, interfected with, uh, there is an inhibition of cementogenesis. The adjacent periodontal ligament fibroblasts are rich in alkaline phosphatase and may also play a role in mineralization. Mineralization process uh, uh, mineralization proceeds very slowly in a linear uh, fashion. Uh, owing to the slow uh, progress of mineralization, there is usually no evidence of the layer of pre-cementum associated with a cellular uh, cementum. Cementogenesis uh, rhythmically occurs uh, rhythmically. Periods of activity uh, alternating with periods of uh, Quiescence. Structural uh, alignments may be visible within the tissue, indicating the uh, incremental nature of its formation. Uh, the periods of decreased activity are associated with these uh, incremental lines, uh, which um, are believed to have a higher uh, content of uh, ground substance and mineral and lower content of uh, ecologin than the adjacent cementum. These lines may also reflect changes in crystalline orientation. Uh, crystallite um, orientation. The pe periodicity of the incremental lines might be um, annual and can be used to age individuals. As uh, a cellular cement is formed very, uh, is formed very slowly, the uh, incremental lines are closer. Uh, together, then corresponding uh, line seen in the cement of that is disposite more rapidly. Uh, what about uh, secondary cementum? Following the formation of the primary cementum uh, in the cervical portion of the root, secondary cementum appears in the apical region of the root at about the time that you surround. Uh, secondary cementum is also formed uh, in the uh, fornication area of the cheek teeth. Uh, this type of uh, cementum is associated uh, with uh, an increase in the rate of formation of the tissue. Uh, the only inductive um, changes associated with the development of odontoblast and dentine appear to be similar to those described for primary cementum. However, the following, uh, the loss of uh, continuity of uh, the epithelial sheath, large but the felix cells are seen to differentiate from the adjacent cells uh, to the dental follicle against uh, the surface uh, of the root tongue. These cells form a, a more distinct cuboidal layer of thymentoblasts adjacent to the roots, adjacent uh, to the root surface. They generally uh, process more uh, cytoplasm and more cytoplasmic processes uh, than the cells associated uh, with the formation of a cell uh, cementum. The bathophilia of uh, the light microscope uh, level corresponds uh, to um, rod uh, rodent and the plasmic reticulum uh, at the ultrastructural. Uh, ult ultrastructural level and indicate that uh, cementoblast secret the collagen uh, together with ground uh, substance that uh, forms uh, their intrinsic fibers 
On the secondary cellular cement, these fibers are oriented parallel uh, to the root surface and do not extend into the periodontal ligament. Associated with the increased rate of formation, uh, a thin and mineralized pre-cement wire um, at about five uh, micrometers thick now will be present on the surface of cellular cement. Mineralization in the deeper layer of uh, the pre-cementum occurs in a linear uh, manner, but overall this type of cement is less mineralized than, uh, than primary cementum. As uh, in bone, uh, the multipolar mode of matter of secretion by the cementoblast and its uh, increased rate uh, of formation uh, result in cells becoming incorporated in the deforming uh, matrix and these are um, convented into cementicides. Though this um, is a cellular cementum uh, since uh, it usually present uh, at the uh, in intrinsic fiber type this type of cementum doesn't uh, act uh, in a supportive role. Uh, there have been no sharp base fibers from the periodontal ligament uh, inserted into it. Incremental uh, lines with be, uh, will be present in secondary or cellular cementum, but uh, due to the increased rate of formation and more widely spread. Uh, spaced uh, then in a cellular cementum. And the chemical composition of primary stem and secondary cementum differs. Is this, uh, it's assumed that this reflects differences in the secretory uh, activity of uh, the cells involved. Uh, those dentine, cialis, protein, fibronectin, and uh, tenosine, as well as a number of uh, proteoglycans uh, um, are present as uh, a uh, cellular cementum, but not in uh, a cellular cementum. Uh, this may be uh, uh, related to the presence of cementocytes, as, uh, as, as many of the uh, proteoglycans are located in the uh, periphery of the lacuna and uh, Canaliculi. Uh, their precise origin of the cells uh, in dental follicle associated with the formation of cellular cementum uh, um, awaits uh, clarification. They uh, possibly exist uh, that uh, different cell population are responsible uh, for the formation of uh, primary acella and secondary cellular cement due to uh, due to the uh, similarity between osteoblast and cementoblast and uh, uh, being suggested uh, that stem progenitor cells primarily associate, uh, associated with alveolar bone uh, could migrate in the, uh, into the periodontal ligament and provide uh, a source of uh, a new uh, cementoblast. Um, just uh, before the tooth eruption, I want to uh, tell you a few uh, words about uh, um, the tooth roots formation and the um, terms of um, tooth root formation. Uh, on the screen, you can see two tables. I told about the meaning of these tables and uh, uh, what about the root uh, before uh, eruption. Um, exist the initial root formation with uh, uh, diverged edges. Uh, root lens led this ground lens. Uh, the next uh, uh, half of the root lens equals ground lens. Um, three uh, quarters of root lens developed with uh, diverged ends. Uh, root lens completed with parallel ends. Apex closed root ends converge, converge with the wide periodontal uh, ligament. And uh, the last stage in the root formation uh, means uh, apex closed with the normal um, periodontal uh, ligaments or wide. Uh, 
what relativity is the uh, Morse or that is with two or more roots? For example, uh, three roots, uh, um, root lens less than crown lens uh, we, uh, with a visible bifurcate uh, area. Uh, root lens equals crown lens. Uh, three quarters of uh, root to uh, lens uh, developed with uh, diverge ends. Um, the next stage root uh, length completed with uh, parallel ends. Apex formation, the first stage of apex formation, apex cloud, not ends uh, converge with uh, wide uh, periodontal ligament. And the last stage of um, root formation, it's below apex, apex cloud with a normal uh, periodontal uh, ligament wide. Um, on uh, the next slide, you can see uh, the comparison of dental heart tissue types, enamel, dentine, cementum, and alveolar bones. Uh, enamel, yes, enamel uh, organ origin, a dental uh, developed from dental papilla, cementum, dental sac, and alveolar bone developed from methadone. Um, the tissue source or, or, or type uh, for enamel, it's epithelial, uh, formative cells, ameloblast, uh, incremental lines, lines of residues, uh, mature cells uh, known, lost uh, is uh, in reduced enamel epithelium with uh, eruption, uh, resorptive cells, odontoclasts, uh, mineral levels, uh, 98 uh, uh, percent organic and water levels, 1 percent of organic uh, compounds, uh, 3 percent of water. Formation after eruption known only may undergo uh, remineralization. Uh, vascularity known, uh, innervation known. Uh, dentine, embryological background, dental papilla, uh, tissue source or type, connective tissue, uh, formative cells, odontoblasts, incremental lines, uh, imbrication uh, lines of one uh, abner, uh, mature cells known with, uh, within only dentinal tubules with processes found in crystal in part odontoblasts. Um, in, uh, in bulk um, uh, resorptive cells or uh, uh, mineral levels uh, the 70 percent, organic and water levels uh, 20 percent of organic compounds, 10 percent of water, formation after eruption uh, possible, vascularity known, uh, innervation, possibly uh, present within dentinal tubules, uh, found uh, instead in bulk. Uh, cementum, embryonic background, dental sac, uh, tissue source or type, connective tissue, uh, formative cells, cementoblast, uh, uh, incremental lines, arrest and uh, uh, reversal lines, uh, matthew cells, uh, cementocytes, a resorptive cells, so don't last. Mineral levels, uh, 65 percent. Organic and water levels, 23 percent of organic compounds, 20 percent of water. Uh, formation after eruption possible. Vascularity known and uh, innervation known. And uh, relatively level bones. Uh, Embryonic background, embryonic origin is a methadone, uh, tissue source type, connective tissue, um, formative cells, uh, osteoblasts, uh, incremental lines, uh, uh, lines, arrest and uh, reversal lines, uh, matthew cells, osteocytes, uh, resorptive cells, osteoclasts, mineral uh, levels, uh, 18% organic and water levels, 25% uh, of organic compounds, and 50% of 15% um, of water. The formation and eruption possible. Uh, vascularity present. Uh, innovation present. I think it's a very simple uh, table for uh, comparison.
of the different uh, uh, hard dental tissue. What about the eruption? Uh, tooth eruption mm, uh, is a process. Uh, Uh, it that, uh, is a process uh, uh, where the tooth moves from the developmental uh, position of the jaw in the inspunction position uh, in the mouse. Uh, however, uh, this is no evidence to um, suggest that eruption in tyler cases uh, once uh, a tooth meets its uh, antagonists uh, in the mouse. Prior uh, to the formation of the root on the tooth, uh, this is concentric growth of the tooth within its follicle uh, without any active um, bodily movement, movement and uh, in a direction indicating eruption towards uh, the oral cavity. When the root uh, state uh, starts to form, uh, the active phase of eruption, of eruption uh, commences. As it uh, uh, approaches uh, the oral cavity, uh, the overlying bones is resorbed, and um, there are marked changes uh, uh, on in the overlying uh, soft tissue. So the enamel surface is uh, covered by the reduces, uh, uh, reduced enamel epithelium, uh, which uh, is the uh, vestige of enamel organ. And the two syrups, uh, there are other cells of the reduced uh, enamel epithelium proliferate into the connective tissue between the cusps. The, the cusp tip and the oral epithelium. It has been suggested that these proliferating epithelial cells secret enzymes uh, that degrade uh, collagen. Reduced uh, enamel epithelial cells may also remove uh, breakdown products resulting from the resorption of connective tissue. And depolymerization of the non fibrous components of the extracellular cell matrix has been detected in the connective tissue overlying erupting teeth. Although a relationship between the degeneration of the connective tissue and the uh, pressure um, ex ex exerted by the underlying eruption, erupting tooth has, uh, hasn't been established. Ischemia is uh, thought to be a contributory factor, mainly on the fibroblasts in the connective tissue overlying and uh, erupting to uh, this fibro, uh, fibrillogenesis uh, actively take up uh, extracellular matrix as evidenced by intracellular uh, collagen profiles and synthetize acid uh, hydrolysis. Eventually, the cells degenerate. Uh, the development of um, their dentogingival junctions uh, junction occurs um, uh, at the uh, tooth uh, um, uh, emerges into uh, the oral cavity. At the tooth approaches uh, the oral epithelium, the cells of the outer layer of the reduced enamel epithelium and the basal layer of the oral epithelium uh, actively uh, proliferate and eventually uh, uh, unite. The epithelium covering the tip of the tooth then uh, degenerates um, at to its stand, uh, uh, enabling the ground to emerge through the uh, epithelial uh, laid pathway into the oral cavity. From the um, Emergence of the tooth result from active eruptive movements and passive separation of the oral epithelium from the crown surface. When the tooth first erupts uh, into the mouth, uh, the reduced enamel epithelium is uh, attached attached to the uh, unerupted part of the crown, uh, thus forming the epithel epithelial seal, the junction epi junctional epithelium. Uh, uh, it is generally believed that the reduced epithelial component of the junctional epithelium is um, eventually replaced by, by oral epithelium uh, with a continued eruption, and more of the crown is exposed, um, uh, device is formed. 
uh, resorption and uh, shading of uh, decided tools. Resorption and uh, uh, shading of uh, primary tools occurs to enable eruption of the permanent tools, uh, excluding the permanent molars. Um, Initially, each uh, decide whose tooth and is developed, mean, uh, developing permanent uh, successor here in common alveolar uh, grid. The permanent tooth germ uh, being situated uh, lingually uh, to their development uh, decide whose tooth, uh, which uh, continued growth, the permanent tooth comes to uh, the lie in uh, the root apex of the decided tooth within its own uh, bony crypt. Uh, during the early eruptive stage of the permanent tooth, uh, the bone uh, separating uh, its uh, form, its uh, primary uh, predecessors is resorbed. Uh, following uh, this, resorption of the heart tissue of the uh, decided tooth take place by the activity of uh, multi uh, nucleated osteoblast like cells please put your attention on the screen uh, on the screen you can see uh, this heme and uh, um, the disruption of the disruption and the shading upper teeth you, uh, you see the primary dentition or decided with dentition upper teeth it's a central incisors uh, erupt uh, 8, uh, 12 months, uh, sheet 6, 7 years. Uh, lateral incisors uh, erupt uh, 9, uh, 13 months, uh, uh, sheet uh, 7, 8 years. Uh, canine um, erupt uh, 16, 22 months, uh, sheet 10, uh, 12 years, uh, first molar, uh, 13, uh, uh, erupt uh, 13, 90 ma months, uh, uh, sheet uh, 9, 11 years, uh, second molar, uh, 25, uh, uh, 33 uh, months, uh, sheet uh, 10, uh, 11 years. Below it is um, the central incisor uh, erupt uh, six, ten months, uh, sheet six, seven years. Lateral incisor um, erupt uh, ten, uh, sixteen months, uh, sheet seven, eight years. Uh, canine erupt uh, seventeen, twenty, uh, three months. Um, uh, sh uh, sheet. Uh, Nine, twelve years, first molar erupt uh, 14, uh, 18 months, sheet uh, 9, 11 years, and the second molar uh, erupt uh, 23, uh, 39 months, uh, sheet 10, uh, uh, 12 years. Uh, I think you see that uh, the primary dentition uh, consists from the um, uh, two uh, incisors, one canine and two molars, uh, excluding premolars, premolars because uh, the premolars, um, this is the teeth uh, which um, exist only in the permanent dentition. Um, the next, uh, please put your attention on this slide. It is the scheme uh, of uh, a visual ratio of the volume of heart tissues and the uh, tooth cavity. Uh, you can see that uh, one half uh, of uh, the uh, dental wall, it's a uh, tooth cavity with the pulp. It is very important features of primary teeth and of the permanent teeth um, in the stage of uh, the root formation. Uh, the topographic ratio of uh, rudiments of permanent uh, teeth uh, to the roots of temporary teeth, uh, you can see. I told you about the position or topographical position of the primary uh, roots and uh, uh, 
permanent grounds. And let me uh, to tell you about the function of the TIS. Uh, the TIS play a vital role during mystification, phonetics, uh, smiling and giving shape to the face. Uh, the different lines of, of uh, tooth, uh, it means uh, enameled entire pulp and cemental, uh, play different roles. Enamel functions uh, to protect to protect the dentine. Dentine provides support to the overlying enamel and transmits uh, in impulses uh, from the enamel to the dental pulp. The pulp helps uh, in the formation of uh, dentine and providing nutrients uh, such as albumin, transferrin, tenosine, and other proteoglycans uh, to the dentine. Also, it has uh, a defensive role, though the formation of new dentine uh, creating a barrier between irritants and uh, slows uh, the rate of carrier decay. The cement uh, functions uh, to provide attachment to the collagen fibers present in the periodontal uh, ligament, uh, thus mind on uh, the integrity of uh, the root and its position. It is also involved of the repair and the um, regeneration of teeth. Uh, tooth eruption begins around the age of six months and uh, can uh, last until the age of three years. Uh, it means uh, primary tooth. During this stage, uh, uh, the child's gums uh, uh, may be sore and irritable. Uh, you can um, uh, for helping, uh, you uh, can do them by uh, gently rubbing the gums with a cold, uh, wet cloth, uh, for example. Uh, the uh, timing and uh, sequence of uh, the eruption of the child 20 teeth. Uh, or baby teeth uh, or algorithm of eruption. I'll, uh, I showed you on the scheme. A child's central incision, both upper and lower, are the first to appear, and then other teeth erupt uh, sequentially moving toward the back uh, of uh, the arch. The exception to this is uh, the first more, uh, most which uh, typically erupt before uh, the um, cuspids. Uh, organized. The first two teeth to erupt uh, at the lower and upper central incisor. So, uh, audio attendance that the lower teeth uh, erupt uh, the first, um, which erupt at uh, the age uh, of six uh, or from six to uh, 12 months. The next to erupt are uh, the lateral incisors between nine and uh, uh, 16 months following the first molar and uh, last uh, um, the second molar I wrapped uh, um, between th uh, 23 and uh, 33 uh, months. Um, the baby uh, to um, Mm, no, Berman, uh, primary tooth uh, shading uh, and uh, the mechanisms which uh, uh, provide this process. You are uh, listened already. Uh, for uh, relativity, the X ray uh, features of uh, primary uh, tooth uh, uh, root resorption and uh, formation of the uh, permanent roots you can see on the screen. This is radiography or ra uh, radio or, or, or um, rentgenography. Um, and the scheme, uh, which uh, explains uh, what you have to see on the uh, uh, during uh, the investigation of the X-ray. You can see the zone, the growth zone uh, for the um, dental roots. 
for example, it is uh, in uh, permanent lower incisor and uh, permanent lower premolars. It's a root formation before the eruption. Uh, you can see uh, the um, juice during the um, stage of stabilization. It is uh, the uh, first lower uh, molar. Mm -hmm. And you can see the roots uh, during formation into the jaws or during the period of interjaw uh, formation. Um, on the uh, slide, you just see the uh, routine X ray investigation. Um, but more informative methods of investigation it is computer tomography. Uh, during this investigation, you can see all structures of the lower and uh, upper jaws very clear, and uh, you can see uh, the uh, part of a limb, uh, dentine layer. Uh, and uh, uh, the pelt cavity or pelt chamber. And you can investigate uh, uh, the virus of the structures uh, at around uh, uh, four micrometers, each uh, uh, four uh, micrometers. It's very um, I think very great and very um, informative uh, type of uh, additional uh, investigation. And what about historical uh, stage of uh, uh, development um, of the pediatric dentistry? Uh, it's a variant on your screen. Uh, uh, it's a variant of modern dental uh, office equipment in um, children's or pediatric dentistry. Uh, you, but uh, it, uh, uh, the, but in the first step of pediatric dentistry um, appear only in 1930. Um, uh, you know that the history of uh, dentistry goes uh, uh, all the way back uh, uh, to 5,000 uh, years before Christ. Although there is a long history in the field of dentistry, um, pediatric dentistry uh, didn't become uh, relevant until the uh, 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 19th uh, 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 since the 19th, uh, the study uh, and uh, implementation of pediatric dentistry has uh, uh, evolved and become uh, more beneficial by impacting uh, the lives and smiles of many children around the world. As I said, the first steps of pediatric dentistry uh, appeared uh, in 90. Uh, 30 American dentist Alfred Jones opened the world's first oral hygiene schools uh, called the uh, Fumons Clinic for Dental Hygienists in uh, Connecticut. Uh, this school sent, uh, sent women for, from Fumons Clinic to clean school ch children's teeth, uh, which started the rise in pediatric dentistry. The next type of pediatric clinics, contemporary or modern pediatric clinics, different variants. Um, uh, a while this uh, uh, was a curing a dental assistant, but the name of Mini uh, Evangeline Jordan uh, decided to create the, uh, her own dental practice just for kids uh, uh, on the other side of the country in Los Angeles, California. The dental practice uh, was the first of its kind. Uh, her research on a variety of foods and uh, sugars effect, uh, effects on children's teeth uh, for a project in college gave uh, her uh, the insight that she needed to do something about it. 
um, first uh, uh, forward uh, to the 1940, uh, the American Dental Association officially recognized a new specialty pediatric dentistry. Uh, this uh, ultimate uh, uh, lead to a rise of uh, awareness for children's dental hygiene, uh, causing an increase in about 40% of kids going uh, to the dentist once a year. However, a decade later, a federal agency found in the pediatric dentistry training program to raise the number of dentists trained to treat special needs uh, kids uh, and larger amounts of uh, children. Uh, except uh, different uh, and uh, various uh, uh, types of uh, pediatric dental cleaning, Clinics, uh, the uh, dentists uh, here, uh, can uh, use the um, special pediatric uh, instruments, for example, and the instruments, uh, baby files, uh, for example, matrix and matrix system, uh, matrix half cup for restoration of the proximal surface and part of the cutting edge of the incisors. Uh, for primary teeth. Mm. The next, it can be uh, dental instruments for children, uh, for uh, tooth extraction, for example, uh, with the um, uh, rainbow colors, uh, uh, and uh, the uh, dental uh, syringes for the uh, anesthesia, local anesthesia. Um, uh, children's dental health um, at the turn of the 20th century. In the late uh, 99, uh, the Secretary of Health and Human Service uh, 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 with the national uh, informed uh, with the national reports uh, that uh, gave details and full meaning of the importance of children's oral uh, oral health uh, in correlation with their general health. Less than five years later, uh, the concepts of uh, creating uh, comprehensive oral health care for children uh, starting before they are a year old was pushed uh, though there by the um, International Dental Association. Uh, the present and uh, the future of pediatric dentistry, uh, dental filling materials for temporary molars, it is uh, the contemporary materials for uh, aimed uh, the given for little patients, uh, mm, Unstress uh, um, activity and uh, uh, interest uh, uh, to um, have um, and, and the, uh, the children uh, will be happy to have uh, father's uh, dental feeling. Uh, what about the present and future pediatric dentistry? You can uh, see uh, aesthetic uh, and functional restoration of the upper temporary uh, incisors with the help of symphonium artificial grounds. Uh, because uh, all uh, uh, children wants, want to have uh, beautiful smile and functional um, mm -hmm. temporary dentition. And plenty of things have changed and improved for pediatric dentistry uh, then, since uh, it was first uh, uh, revolutionized in the uh, early 1900s. So, uh, now pediatric dentistry services are offered to anyone. Uh, 19 and younger, though multiply employers' plans, uh, making it an essential um, health benefit uh, for uh, benefit in different countries. Uh, 
this has made oral hygiene better available and easier to effort for our children and their families. Today, uh, more than 96% uh, of children visit the, de the dentist at least once a year. Uh, and children's smiles and oral health are now looked up and, uh, highly by healthcare professionals around the world, uh, waiting uh, to keep them clean and healthy. Thank you um, for attention and goodbye.